Hello classy people, Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel. Hope everybody's having a start of a great work week for sure. And as always, turn your closed captions on for us. And remember, tip sheets are always available, always available for any track in North America. Just email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Well, I finally got some data to do some uh, races of the upcoming weekend. And we're looking at stake races over there at the fairgrounds. And um, race number six is the Donovan Ferguson Memorial Stakes. Five and a half furlongs, uh, 75,000 for two-year-old fillies. Accredited Louisiana breads, right? And uh, it's a full field of eight. Pretty nice, but they're not that fast. So let's just dive right in. And we're going to dive right into our top pick here. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and pick Free Drop. Maddie. The old free drop Maddie is the seven horse in this race. I like this horse. Actually, I was down at Fairgrounds uh, or at Delta Downs when this horse uh, raced last time on the 14th of October. Ran a beautiful, beautiful race. Now, was beaten by the number three horse in here. Janet is ready. But I think the number seven free drop Maddie could get the drop on the rest of this field. This is a very, very fast horse, and I anticipate the number seven getting to the top here. Only one win from four starts, one second and two thirds for sure. Comes out of that stake race at Delta that I told you about, uh, the Louisiana Jewel Stake Race, seven furlongs, but now shortening up to five and a half. So that's what makes me think the number seven, Free Drop Maddie could go gate the wire. Now, Mr. Calhoun is doing the training. That don't hurt, right? I like Brett Calhoun, so I land on his horses quite a bit. So our top pick is going to be the old Free Drop Maddie for sure. And I would kind of be remiss if I didn't take, uh, I guess, you know, not the horse that beat, beat Free Drop Maddie last time. I'm going to go ahead and look inside to the number two horse, Seed for Steph. Seed, C Seed for Steph, right? C Seed for Steph looks like a little bit slower than the rest of these, but this appears to be a very, very nice two-year-old filly. The number two horse has one start and one win. You can't shake a stick at that. On the front end uh, by half hour, on the back end by curling. Okay, the horse has been away for 90 days, coming from Evangeline Park on August 20th. This is a very, very fast horse as well. Now, when she broke her maiden, it was four and a half. I like the fact that they're stretching the two horse out to five and a half off of a 90 day layoff. So I want to see her kind of giddy up as well. So our second pick will be CC'd for Steph for sure. And our third pick here, well, I guess it would be a little disingenuous if I didn't go ahead and take the horse that beat our top pick. Janet is ready, the number three horse. Well, Janet is ready, like I said, did beat uh, our free drop Maddie, the number seven, our top pick. And Janet is ready is a nice two-year-old filly. Check this out. She has four wins from six starts. One second and one third. So in six starts, the number three horse who will probably be the favorite in here and maybe the horse to beat, okay? She's just too honest with just six starts, four of them being wins, one second and one third. This is a hard hitting horse by custom for uh, Carlos uh, Palm, uh, Palmer, is our uh, trainer of record, and Mangon is our um, uh, rider. So the number three horse is very, very solid. Lasix blinkers on, coming back in 35 days, a string of workouts, cutting back from seven furlongs to five and a half furlongs. This gal don't do, no, do nothing but win. So to me, Janet is ready, uh, deserves a lot of credit in here. And she's our third pick, but again, she is a big, big time win contender, uh, having already beat our top pick, the number seven, uh, free drop Maddie. Don't leave Janet off your ticket to number three. This is a very, very nice horse. So in this year's sixth race, the Donovan Ferguson States, we're going to be a little cute and take the horse that was beaten by the favorite in here. We're going to take the number seven, Free Drop Maddie. And our second pick, of course, is going to be CC for Step. We just like this horse off of the 90-day layoff and think that this horse stretching out from four and a half to an extra furlong, five and a half, should suit this horse well. She should be better 
her second start than she was her first start. Now remember, she's been away for 90 days, but she was away long before that, before she ran her first start and went gate to wire. So that doesn't concern me. We like the number two horse, CC, for Stefan here. For sure. And we're going to round out Tri-Factor out with the likely favorite and likely winner in the race, to be honest with you. The number three horse, uh, Janet, is ready. So for us in this year's the, uh, Devin uh, Ferguson Stakes, seven, two, three, in that order. Let me know what you folks think about this race. I kind of like this race. Really do like the number two horse, CC for Stefan here. Sure. As always, stay classy, y'all, in everything you do. Let me know if you need any races analyzed. I'll be happy to do them. If I have the time, please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And remember, tip sheets are always available for sure. Stay classy, y'all, in everything you do. I'll talk to you real soon. Let's see if we can get that free drop, Matty, and CC step around the racetrack. 7-2. We like those two a whole bunch.